Above all, when you're doing yoga, your first relationship of being one is with the earth. To be in touch with the earth is important. A proper yogi means for Hatha Yoga, if you can afford to do this, you must make a room with packed mud, with packed clay. On top of it, you put either a raw silk cloth or a cotton cloth, a raw cotton cloth, not sand for iced. And you do yoga on that for maximum impact because this body, you might have forgotten, but the body knows that it's just a piece of the planet, always it knows. When you practice yoga, you want that to become a conscious and a living process for you, so that you experience yourself as one with the earth on which you're, you're living. And I would say, eighty percent of your health depends on this, how much you're in tune with the earth, eighty percent. Eighty percent of your chronic ailments can just vanish simply because you kind of found a little rapport with the earth on which you're walking or sitting right now. So using rubber mats for yoga, I know there are Isha branded rubber mats. <laughs> I look at it with great pain. <laughs> but this is such guru, cotton mats get dirty, who's going to wash them? In America they don't know how to wash them, so we made the rubber mats. But this is Sadhguru, this is some special material which really insulates you. This is what I'm asking you when I asked you the first question, are you here to experience life or dodge life? Unknowingly you're doing it in so many ways as to how to insulate yourself from life. If you… you might already know this, it's all over the place these days. Ninety percent of your body is bacteria, you know this? That means you're only ten percent occupant of this building. This construction you have, only ten percent is yours. Ninety percent is microbes. They're constantly in and out. They're not just here. If you isolate this, that itself is sickness. That itself is sickness. If you insulate this from the rest of the world, you will become… the potential of who you are is being lowered continuously. So, if you are a… Tr if you are a homebound person, that means every day you wake up in the same place, now largely, if it is so, it's bet best you use a cotton mat for your yoga or a raw silk mat, not a plastic thing. That is for people who roll it up and go and do it in Central Park because they want everybody to see they're doing yoga. <laughs> Today is my yoga day. Yesterday I came with my bicycle to Central Park, today I've come with my yoga mat. So that's a different kind of life. But if you're doing proper yoga, Hatha Yoga, you must be connected with earth, organic material so that there's no break.